Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Homer on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series and going over Home Labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we'll be installing today, a simple yet powerful dashboard for your server and um, uh, organize your applications, a seamless integrations, customizable, accessible, a multilingual, and over 15 uh, integrations, widgets, open source, 7,000 beautiful icons, a quick search, Create your own dashboard. This is what the UI looks like. You can drag and drop things and resize it on the dashboard. It's really neat. So that's what will be installed today. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to scroll down to uh, how to install Homer on Dockage right here. And then now I'm going to go to Docker Compose. So version 3 of Docker Compose is being used. And then to set some services. And then the service underneath the service is called Homer. The container name is called H H Homer. The image is pulling off ghcr.io and that's GitHub. And then this is Docker image. And then the latest tag is being used. It, 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 I'm going to set the restart policy to unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. I'm going to set uh, three volumes down here. So H H Homer config the Homer data and the Homer icons. So uh, the left side right here is the host side and the right side is the container side. So app data configs is on the container, da data is on the container and app public icons is on the container. And these are using the local drivers down here for, for the local volumes. So uh, the, uh, these two uh, sync back and forth between, uh, between each other right here. So the ports are set to 7575 is on the host and on the container 7575. On, on, on the left side of, of here is always the host and on the right side is the container. So now I'm going to set some volumes down here for the local uh, vo volumes for up here. I'm going to go over here to copy raw file and then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this installed. So now I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go over here to compose. And then I'm going to give it a stack name. Um, I'm going to give it uh, Homer Stack. And then I'm going to go over here to the editor over here. So I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose. So now you can see it populated over here. Where you can go in and ed edit it over here. And it populates over here. So um, now I'm going to go up here to deploy. So now what it's doing is it's pulling the Docker container off the registry, getting it extracted and getting it up with Docker Compose. So now it's up and running and you can see the logs down here. So it's listing on port 7575. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So now when you're on the homepage, uh, you can see a status, so active, exited, and inactive. So it shows you a, a quick glance at what stacks are good and what stacks are not. So I'm going to go over here to the Homer stack. And then, so, so you can see it's active up here. You can edit to where you can edit and go in there and change your Docker Compose. You can also change it over here. And then you can press deploy. You can also add another container to this. So, the, I, as you can see, it added it underneath the services. So, that's a pretty neat way of uh, uh, adding con uh, containers to a Docker Compose. So I'm going to delete it. And you can add uh, URLs down here. So you can save it. 
and then you can stop and down. You can discard the changes that you've done. So I'm gonna go backwards. So um, you can re restart the container or the stack. This could take a little bit. Okay, now it's restarted and you can see your logs down here of what it's doing. You can also update a, uh, the current tag that it's on. Um, you can stop and stop and down and delete. The update, the current tag, will we'll pull it down from the re registry again and redeploy it. And then you can see the container is healthy down here. And now you can go to the UI from here. You can go into the bash and you can go into the container like this. You can also use SH if you like. So, um, uh, now I'm going to go backwards. And then, and now you can see your Docker Compose over here. You can't edit it from here. You, you, you have to press the edit button to go in there and edit it. So, and that's a little bit about the stack options. So now I'm going to start on uh, the uh, a dockage. I'm going to go to stacks. And then I'm going to go down here to 75, 75. So now you're going to say, oh, well, welcome to Homer right here. I'm going to start the update process. Go continue. And then I'm going to put a username in and a password and then i'm going to say continue now i'm going to go go to board so you, you can see uh there's some pre-populated stuff on here so you can go up here to search and then you can search all the cards down here you can also go into edit mode and you can move around the cards you can also go into uh, the cog right here and you can cha change the info on these cards so, um, you can also, uh, change the position and then you can remove, you can, um, go over here to add a tile so you can add an app and then you can save and then here it is right here, your app that you just added. You can add another tile of your, of widgets down here. Um, you can add ca uh, categories. So there we go, and then you can uh, see the category down here, and then um, you can you can add the app in that category. So, um, and now you can go up here to exit and save, and if you don't do that, this the uh, changes won't be persisted. So you can go up here to customize board, and you can change some settings, so layout, access, the grid stack, and the page meta, and the appearance. You can also turn on left and right side uh, a, a sidebars. So, so you can also turn on pings as well. So it'll ping uh, the URL that you have on that uh, that card. So I'm gonna go back, back to board. And then and, and now if you go up here to edit mode, you can move things into these, these left and right sidebars. So that's a little bit about Almer's UI. So, so I just showed you how to install Homer, get it set up. I showed you the UI a little bit here and there. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.